another first for us. This is the Silicone Silver 2021 71 registration, brand new with 211 miles on. In the Silicone Silver, this is the D250 XS Edition but with a boatload of extras and you can't get these cars, we know you can't and this is a very special one. This one's got the family pack and it's got the urban pack as well, over and above the fact that the car's an excess edition. On a 71 registration means the car's got the full three year manufacturer's warranty still. It's the D250, which is a new engine, a three litre, 250 brake horsepower and what a car. Beautiful in that colour. This car looks super rich. You know, one of them premium types of cars. That's what this car looks like. Probably one of the best I've seen in a sophisticated way. We've had lots here with the full urban kits on and this on and that on. This one just looks super clean and nice. Now, the first thing you'll notice is all the black trimmings on the bonnet around the headlights, the upgraded headlights as well with the LED, LED glass piece and the full LED headlight. You've then got the 360 camera systems, so that's front cameras, side cameras, rear cameras, front parking sensors, rear parking sensors, and park assist. Now, nothing on this car is left to plastic finish, if that makes sense. So everything's either painted silver or colour coded. So if you look at all the other defenders or the majority of them, this bottom section here is what you call a rubber plastic finish, moulding finish. Now, this one's all painted, same as the arch kit as well. So the full arch kit, the side skirt and the rear arches are all also painted in the metallic silicone silver. Part of the urban pack is see this bottom kick plate, or call it a guard. That's all bigger and bulkier and again painted as well. As you come round the side, you'll see straight away that finish that I've mentioned just a few seconds ago, but them wheels, they're the upgraded 20 inch XS edition wheels, which are diamond cut on the outside and that lovely Ferris grey on the inside. Obviously this car's brand new. I don't need to talk about the condition because when I say brand new, it's literally doing 200 miles. There's not a mark on it. Front and rear mud flaps, which are also an extra. Them side steps are an extra. And then you've got the black decals on the side, black mirror covers, your B pillars are in black. And I love the silicone silver centre square just there. The glass piece, tilt and sliding panoramic roof, comfort access, which allows you to get in and out this car comfortably without getting the keys out and un unlocking. You just get up to the car, it unlocks. As you walk away, you press that, it locks, the mirrors fold in. Look at this for an interior. It's absolutely, let me get in first. It's amazing. You've got the Defender in the dash there, the grab handles, all stitched up with a lovely cloth, nice and soft. Meridian sound system, full electric seats, heated seats and memory seats. The extra speaker system, the finish on this car is unbelievable. You've got touchscreen media system, the air suspension, another big thing on these cars, because some of them with the spring suspensions can drive a little bit harder. With the air suspension, it's just nice, soft, smooth ride. Front rear heated windscreen, dual zone climate control, automatic gearbox just there, obviously both keys, USBs and USCs, but it's just the position that you're sat in, it's nice and high, you're on top of the world, there's lots of glass, there's no blind spot for a driver or passenger, and there's lots of space, you're not sat on top of each other, so if I'm sat here as a passenger, the driver sat there, this midsection armrest and cubby hole is so big and there's loads of little hideouts. It's fabulous, nothing short of. In the back, same again. Grab handles to get in, because kids will use that. You've got the adapter socket there to put all your different adapters on. It could be a coat hanger, a holder for the iPad. Five volt socket USB, so if you have an iPad in there, you can charge it or any sort of other. Android, your magazine holder. Part of the family pack, you get the climate control in the rear and the third seat, the third row seating has the own heating system as well. So that's a massive option on this car. This is a seven seater, because not all one tens are seven seaters. As a matter of fact, a lot of them aren't the five seaters. Now this has third row seating, so it is a seven seater Defender, which is awesome. And that's one of the reasons why this car just won't last. A, you can't buy them. B, it's been specced up correctly in a fabulous color combination with the correct spec, like the panoramic roof, the seven seats, the upgraded wheels, the painted arches. Everything about this car is just nothing short of, of fantastic. Around the back, you have the wheel cover there. You've got the LED style rear lighting system, which also built into the rear panel. And then you've got things like this lovely kick plate here, so you're not scuffing the back as you're getting in and out. It's a 71 reg vehicle. The back seats are awesome, but if you're not going to use them, literally, no need to fight. You give it a pull and it just goes down. And they are individual seats, so you don't have to have all seven seats up. You can have six seats up, no problem. If you don't need the seats at the back at all, because 
the kids are staying at home or whatnot, you've got a massive boot. There's your heating controls and dials. It's, that is massive. I love this hard back finish. A, it looks nice and clean, but it's also easy to maintain. And because of the way these back seats work, if you come here, I'll quickly show you, Thomas, and then you go back around that way again. So, when you put this seat down, it's pretty flat. There's not much of a lip, if you know what I mean. And that's pretty good. And having this as a hard back as well, just means you can wash the full thing down. Unlike the previous Defenders, you don't need to fight or struggle with this back door. It's got a soft close approach to it. So when you close it, as long as it clicks, it'll close automatically. How easy is that? I remember the older Defenders, you really had to give it something to close it, but not anymore. The rear clear sight view camera system. So that's brilliant because this wheel's so big and the, wind, the back window is not the biggest. When you're sat in the driver's position and you're looking back and you're reversing, you've got all the age, you've got the 360 camera, you've got the parking sensors, but still sometimes you won't see a kid, you won't see somebody with a push chair or a trolley behind you. So that in clear sight view camera up there, I'll show you in a few seconds, when you flick the mirror, that camera system shows you, gives you a full panoramic view of what's behind you. It's unbelievable. Makes all the difference for safety more than anything. And you also don't damage your car. Lane assist departure. Electric windows and mirrors with electric folding mirrors. Push button start, but then listen to the engine. I mention this all the time in our videos. It's quite difficult because when we're doing the videos, we try to sell you the car and be honest as possible about showing you the gadget and gizmos. So if sometimes you've watched two other videos and you're watching this one, you might think, well, why is he talking about the engine all the time? But it makes a difference. So if this is the first video you've seen that we've done, the D250, the new 3-litre engine, are so much quieter, more responsive, power output's better. It's just a better engine overall. It's a fabulous engine. As for the dashboard, you'll notice this is slightly different. I've left this setting on the double dials, the analog dials. So it's all digital, but I've left it with the rev counter because the last Defender I did only about half an hour ago, I left it on with the navigation. So you can configure this where it shows just the navigation and the speedo down the bottom. So for this video, I thought, you know what, I'm going to show you it with the analogs on there so you can see how it looks like a, like a normal car, but you can do it and change it wherever you want. Heated steering wheel, part of this spec. The sort of cruise control and the lane assist and Bluetooth and voice control, all that is there. Your electric adjusted steering column, nice little touch. The camera system, I've mentioned this a million times, it is the best, as in, like most manufacturers and most cars these days, it's clear, it's easy to use, this is a touchscreen system, so whatever angle you want, just press it, it takes it straight there. It doesn't get any easier. Your automatic gearbox, D for drive, N for neutral, R for reverse, once you finish manoeuvring, press the P button, you're parked up. It's as easy as that. Going back to the rear view, insight clear view mirror camera thingy thingy. I can see exactly what's, it doesn't matter how much I move it, it's a camera system, it's showing me exactly what's behind me. Currently nothing other than a blank wall. But if someone wants to stand there, you'd see it in a camera view and not the mirror view. Because when I look through the mirror, if you can't see it there, all I see is, well, most of it is taken up by, where are you, where are you, can you see it? There. Most of it is taken up by the wheel. So when I do this, you actually see the full thing and no wheel is to be seen. I'm sure you get the gist of it. Silicone Silver, excess edition, 71 registration with 211 miles. The car is unbelievable and genuinely one of the smartest ones I've ever seen. My name's Joe, my name and number's on the bottom of the screen. Call me, text me or WhatsApp me. I will get back to you as soon as possible. So on a very quick note, we are extremely busy. So I apologize in advance if we are not getting back to customers as quick as possible. Thank you, bye bye now.